I'm Thomas Stripikovsky and I am 66 years old <laughs> and I have had a long um, association with uh, music generally, but less so with chamber music. In fact, I used to think of chamber music as being a little bit precious, but uh, perhaps I've become more precious myself. And <laughs> I, I like it a lot now. I have uh, worked as a volunteer with Music of Eva for a few years, probably about five or six, and I have um, been, I hope, a little bit useful in promoting chamber music in Australia. The String Sextet Number no. 1 by Brahms, uh, and it is, of course, uh, originally only for stringed instruments, uh, not for the piano, but he, Brahms himself, re-set uh, it for piano as a present to Clara Schumann, whom, of course, he loved very much. <laughs> Schumann was married to, to Clara Wieck, as she was, uh, her, her maiden name was Wieck. Her father wanted to make a lot of money out of her because she was a uh, virtuoso, and uh, he took her on tours and made a lot, of, and did make a lot of money, sort of rather like the father of Mozart. Um, but uh, he didn't want her marrying an impoverished composer. Uh, because she'd have had to stay at home and bear children, which she did, but she kept up her piano and was very, was, remained famous for all her life, even though her husband died long before she did. There is the link between the Schumann pieces, the novelette and the David's Bündler tensor, uh, and then this uh, sextet, in that they are dedicated to Clara Schumann. Schumann was a very different composer from Brahms, uh, even though Schumann protected and fostered um, Brahms, uh, they had quite different uh, attitudes, I think, to life and even to music in a way. Uh, and uh, I think perhaps the, the contrast is, is something that's very interesting, as well as the fact that they're centred on Clara. Uh, the sonata in B-flat, the last sonata, of Schubert, uh, composed very, very shortly before his death, uh, is one of the best known works uh, of Schubert and uh, has uh, immediate appeal. We are warned uh, pretty early on by a famous trill that comes uh, after not very many bars at all, uh, which is pianissimo and fairly far down in the left hand and uh, it's sort of mysterious. Some people have said that it's threatening, that it's the, tr the, thrill, of, uh, the thrill of death, which I don't think is correct, but uh, at least it's sort of, it's something you can say about it. It's the sort of thing that you need to see performed live in order to get the full effect. The, uh, these extremes of emotion do come over better in the concert hall or in the recital hall rather than on a CD. In a CD, you're always tempted to just walk away and do the washing up or something. <laughs>